All right, guys, welcome back to another video here. Today, it's gonna be a little bit different than normal. Uh, instead of being a specific hunting or fishing video, um, I'm just gonna kind of bring you guys along with what I'm doing today. So, my plans for today, I have some feed I wanna put out now that it is officially, now that turkey season's officially over time to get ready for some deer scouting so I got feed to put out cameras to check as well as need to catch minnows for the pet bass so those are the two main things we're gonna be doing today I brought some stuff along to try and catch some grass carp so we might do that later if we have time but we'll see but like I said first thing is get feed out check cameras and catch some minnows we are going to be heading to Walmart and Tractor Supply first. See if we can't get some more feed. As well as I want to get some bread if we do go carp fishing. Um, but yeah, I want to go see if I can get some more corn or any kind of other supplemental stuff for the deer. But it should be a fun day. We've got lots to do. So stay tuned and I'll, go, I'll show you guys around what I'm doing. Alright guys, we are at our minnow trap right now. Grabbing our bucket and our dog food. We're gonna go ahead and walk to it. Our first stop just got done with the tractor supply and Walmart run. Picked up four bags of corn and two mineral licks, two small little mineral licks to put out at our two spots. We're gonna go ahead and supplemental feed. But on the way to the farm, stopping to check the minnow trap. Um, the big minnows are gonna go in the pond and little minnows will keep for fish food, but most likely we'll have big ones out of this main creek. But we're gonna go ahead and pull it. Hopefully it's still here. Yeah, it is still here, so we'll go ahead and pull it, see what we get. Here's our only catch out of the minnow trap. Little crayfish, don't want him. We're gonna go ahead and throw him back. That hole hasn't produced for us two times in a row now, so I'm gonna go ahead and move it upstream a little bit and try and find a different spot to put it. I pulled it once the other day. I think it was like three days ago, maybe. And I didn't even have anything in it. This time I at least had a crayfish, but we're gonna go ahead and try and find maybe this pool kind of right here but I said I just need to find a different spot I don't want to move it bridges but I think I just go ahead and put it in this pool right here will be good got to find a spot to tie off I already baited it up with more dog food so we're just gonna go ahead and like I said try and find a spot to tie it off and throw in here I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but I just tied it to this little driftwood here. It's tucked up there so it ain't going anywhere. But it's down here. Yeah, you guys can see. Alright, there it is. Up in this log jam kind of junk. So hopefully there's some minnows sitting in there. Only time will tell. Leave it sit for two or three days and we'll come back. Alright, it is now time to head to the farm check the cameras hang these two new cameras not new but hang the two that haven't been hung up yet and put our all of our feet out so i'll let you guys know when i get to the farm all right finally at the farm sun's coming out it's getting hot i had to take the sweatshirt off but uh my grandfather put salt licks out as well and there's one right here right where i parked my first spot i'm gonna go put feet is down further but I do have an extra camera, so I'm going to hang it over this salt lick just to see what comes around here. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out, and we got to replace the batteries on it first. All right, so here's the salt lick I was talking about. He puts it on this stump here. And a while back, I did originally have a camera right back here. So I'm just going to hang it on this, this same tree right here.
make sure we pull some weeds that are going to possibly go in front of it. I'm just pulling all these big weeds out of the way. It is nice that it is somewhat help hidden back in this kind of area, but just got to pull some of these weeds here. Because I'm sure if it is windy, they are going to blow right in front. But that is camera number one. There it is, hung up on the tree. Facing that salt lick, so. I'm gonna go ahead. Um, the next one's a little bit of a walk, but I am gonna have to take multiple trips to carry all the bags and stuff down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll let you guys know when I get everything down there. So this is the first spot. This is where I have my game feeder. I've got a stump here with some old salt licks that are slowly dissolving, but this is where I have my game feeder. I've got a mock scrape, and I've got a tree stand right here. The camera that generally goes onto this tree right here, I actually have on another trail right across these little patch of woods. So the last camera that I brought with, I'm gonna hang up here on this tree. I'm just gonna leave the normal camera hanging up over there for now. But I'm gonna have to come down here sometime either with a weed whacker or the tractor and mow these main paths that are drivable we don't drive on them but i want to mow them so that way the deer are more likely to use them than just walking through like the thick weeds in the brush i brought the camera down here first and then i'm gonna go ahead and make like three trips to get all the bags of corn and stuff like that First bag of corn down. Trip number two, we brought another bag of corn and one of the salt licks. All right, guys, that is the last trip. Luckily for you guys with the power of editing, that time lapse took probably about a minute. But it took me about 20 minutes going back and forth from the car to bring all this down. So I'll show you kind of what I got here. The two bags of corn, the yellow one and the black one, are gonna go into the feeder. The brick's just gonna lay out here. And then half this white bag and half of the green bag are gonna be put out along the stump. Um, I only have one of them, so they're gonna be split between the two spots. And then the jug of like molasses syrupy stuff, all of it's gonna be dumped around the stump as well and on the stuff that I dump on the ground. We got lots of stuff that I brought down, so let's go ahead and fill the feeder and put it on the ground. I do gotta make sure the feeder still works. I haven't used it since um, last year, right before last year season when I stopped supplemental feeding. So I'm gonna run a test if not, I'm gonna have to run all the way back up to the car to bring more batteries down, but fingers crossed it works. So all you do to test if it works is since there's nothing in there, we can go ahead and take the entire lid off and look how disgusting that is from sitting in here. The bugs are all through it. I'm kind of interested to open it up and see what's all in it. So a simple test, um, all you gotta do is unscrew this bottom part here and look at all the cobwebs and stuff in there try and clear it out i don't know if you guys can hear it but there's some corn that got into this little hole here my plastic plug came out so there's corn that got in there somehow oh i think i shook it all out so let's see even see if this thing turns on yep it ain't turning on so Luckily I did bring batteries because the one camera needed them. So I'm gonna have to run up to the car and grab four AA batteries real quick. All right, got the new batteries. We're gonna go ahead and load them up and see if it'll work now. And there we go, we got it turned on. So, all right, time set. Um, I think for right now, I'm gonna set it for four. You can set it for four times. I think I'm gonna set it for all four, but just 
really small mounts coming out. So first one, we'll have 7 a.m. I will run it for three seconds. Second one, we'll go ahead and set it for, I guess every six hours, so one o'clock. One o'clock, we're gonna run for two seconds. Sorry guys, bugs are incredibly bad right now. I should put some bug spray on. Timer three will be another seven o'clock, so we gotta go up to seven. Seven o'clock, we'll run for three seconds, and then 1 a.m. will run for two seconds as well. All right, so all you do to test it, you go to one of your timers, see where the seconds are, and hold the mode button, and it'll tell you, it'll count down and say get away, but since it's not on, I can just hold it, and it'll spin for three seconds. So that's what a three second timer will look like. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this back in a while. And I am going to now, I'm gonna make sure that this is clean on the inside just cause like I said, I haven't opened it in months. So I don't know if there's bugs crawling all over it. It actually looks pretty clean. I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. It's pretty clean down in there. There's a few left over kernels of corn, but not too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it filled up with the two bags of corn. It is pretty much full. I think you can fit three 50 pound bags. So I can fit like another bag in if I wanted to. We're gonna go ahead and run the timer for three seconds just to see how it works. So I am gonna back away cause this is gonna shoot corn everywhere. So that's a three second timer. That's gonna be run twice a day, plus a two second timer once a day. Um, it shoots it pretty far out, but most of the corn's gonna stay underneath there. Plus I'm gonna have this, this other stuff behind me. I'm putting on this stump yet, so let's go ahead and do that. First, we're gonna go ahead and put this mineral lick. And it is always important to pick up all your trash and take it with you when you leave the woods. This is Mossy Oak's biologic stuff. It's a little bit more expensive than just normal corn, but it does have corn, soybeans, and protein pellets in it. And then to add on to that pile, we're gonna have this. Uh, I picked this up last year at the end of the season when I was on sale. It is record rack uh, antler mineral. I don't know exactly what it is. I've never used it before, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out this year. Uh, that looks about half. Now we're gonna go ahead and dump this syrup stuff. All right, so that's all the stuff we're dumping here. We just gotta hang the camera up now. But I'll give you one more look. So that's the mineral, that other biologic stuff. Then that liquid's running there. I tried to dump it all over the stump so it'd soak in. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the minerals. Maybe I shouldn't have dumped it on that. There's the block, got the full feeder. Now we just gotta hang up the camera. All right, camera should be all set. Settings are right. Now we just gotta haul everything back up to the car. Check the other camera. We're just gonna pull that one, switch cards out. And then we have two other cameras to check as well as one spot to put the rest of the feed at. I pulled the rest of the cameras a while. I just figured it'd be boring to watch me do that repetitively. So but if you guys do want to see the pictures that I get, the good ones are gonna be posted on our Instagram and on our Facebook page. They're both at Central PA Outdoorsman, just like the YouTube. If you don't follow us there, Go over to both of them, give us a follow. We're close to a thousand on Instagram. I think we might be doing a giveaway once we hit a thousand. So if you guys wanna be a part of that, go check it out. I got the same amount of stuff that I had over at the last one, except this one doesn't have a feeder. We're just gonna dump it on the ground. Um, I'll show you guys this in, before I dump here, but over here where I normally feed, you guys can see this is all mud. This is where I put it. And they have since last year taken all the grass away and they still go up and over that. There is the aftermath. Everything we dumped out, look at that big yellow pile. So that's like 85 pounds of corn, 
plus the mineral and that's probably another like 25 30 pounds so 100 pounds of feed plus that salt lake they should be satisfied for a while it's gonna be the first big feed now for both of these spots but we're gonna go ahead and head over to the little stream to try and catch some minnows now i only need about 15 so it won't take long but bass is gonna love him he hasn't been fed in a day or two so he's hungry he'll eat up a bunch right away and then he's got some in the tank to last him a few days let's head to the creek and try and catch some minnows all right so i see two good holes right here i walk down hopefully I don't gotta go any further than that there's one right here behind me and there's one upstream a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and scoop in the first one here and hopefully catch some in our net all right we got one to start fill up our bucket a little bit see a bunch of them right in here so let's make a big scoop i can probably catch a bunch i saw probably like two dozen and only got one it's a pretty big stretch so we can keep scooping in this hole Got another one, so it looks like we'll just be making 12 scoops and we'll have enough. All right, we clouded the water up pretty well, but we got two more in that last scoop. I see them coming back. Even though the water is muddy, I'm going to make a few more scoops because I see them in there. I see them flashing. So we're going to see if we can't catch them out of here still. We got two more. I think we got about eight or so now. If I can get like three more, I'll be happy. That should suffice. We got two more nice ones. If I can get like one or two more, like I said, that'll be perfect. We're gonna go ahead and give it like a second or two here yet. Let them settle back out and then we'll make another long scoop. All right, the water's still pretty muddy, but I gave it a minute or so. Hopefully they're back out here. We're gonna go ahead and make one more long scoop all, all the way up and hopefully get a, just one or two more. All right, we got two more. That should be good. I think that brings our total up to around 10. He'll probably eat about four or five right away and then he'll munch on them for the next two days. So we'll have to come back out again and try and catch some more, but that's good for now. So we got our trail cameras checked off, our feed checked off, we got our minnows checked off. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the pond and see if we can't catch a grass carp real quick. I don't really have the best equipment with me right now. I just kind of grabbed and went. So we're gonna fish for like, I don't know, half hour, hour. I got some bread and got some carp bait. So we'll see if something like that works. Who knows, we're gonna go and try and catch some though. All right guys, made it to the pond. I wish it wasn't so windy right now. I'd be able to see them better. But I do see one way out here. Actually, it looks like there's two of them. I doubt you guys will be able to see them. Let's see. You might be able to make them out. It's like right in here, but Oh, that splash right there was them. We're gonna go ahead and get some bread and chum it and then get set up. All right, it looks like they're hanging out over by this fallen tree. I'm gonna go ahead and make a move to the other side of the pond and try and get closer to them because I can't make the cast from here, but I gotta be careful not to spook them. So there he is, you guys can see him, he's right here. He's coming right for the bread right here. He's swimming right underneath the bread I threw in. He's not going for any of it. Oh, he just ate a piece of bread. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he just ate a piece of bread. That is my piece of bread and he just ate another one. Oh, it could be game one here soon. Oh, there they are. There they are. They're coming for the bread. Oh, he just ate one. He just ate a piece of bread, guys. They might come and take one of mine. Come on. Oh, they just ate another one right there. He's right there at that piece of bread. Oh, he went for the other one, no. No, there they are. And that's my bread right there. They didn't take it though, they came up for it. This is awesome. I've never fed him bread before, so I didn't know what they would do. There he is. He just surfaced way out there. All right, I got him in a feeding frenzy now. Now it's just a matter of time until they come and take my bread. All right, guys, I wasn't filming, but there was one that came up. The big one came up. He took the bread under with him, but then he spit it out. So I don't know if I got to set the hook as soon as they take it or what, because they're not, doesn't look like they're eating most of the bread. It looks like they're just putting it in their mouths and spitting it out. So I don't know if like as soon as it gets in his mouth, I just gotta set the hook and hope that I hook him. Oh 
Oh my gosh, guys, I got him. Guys, we are hooked up on a monster. Oh my gosh. Yo, what are you doing right now? Stop by the farm, dude. I have a grass carp hooked. I have a grass carp hooked. Yeah, I have him hooked. I caught him on bread. All right, well, c come over. Dude, I'm fighting him. Yeah, dude, I'm fighting him on a trout rod with like four pound test. No. He's tired, but yeah, come over. Just just come to the farm then. All right, I'll see you then, bye. Jackson is on his way now. He'll be here in like 10 minutes, so. I mean, I'm gonna take it slow with this fish. He's still pulling drag. I'm on this little tiny trout rod. It's got like four pound test. Looks like he's slowing down, but I'm just gonna wait for Jackson to get here till I do anything. All right, guys, Jackson just got here, so now I don't have to self-film. I don't even know how long he's been fighting this fish for. He's right here, but every time I go to get him, he just makes a small run or a big run. But Jackson's got the net. I don't even think it's gonna fit in the net. It's gonna help at least. It's gonna help. Oh my God. They're Shoot. supposedly very delicate from what I watched. <laughs> so we gotta be careful. Oh, so I don't wanna kill it, obviously. Look, there he goes. How's it going, guys? Just got here. <laughs> I thought he came off there. Oh my, he's running. Look at his fins all. He's getting tired. He has to be getting tired. Um, 14 and a half. He just came off. He just snapped real, me real, off. Real. He just snapped me off. Oh my gosh, he was sitting right there, dude. No, he didn't, he just popped off. Oh my gosh. There's the hook, guys. He just came off. Didn't even snap me off, he just popped off. I cannot believe that, guys. I fought that fish for almost 40 minutes and he just came off. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to edit this video from today and I didn't realize I didn't make an outro or say anything. Uh, I was just kind of bummed that I lost that grass carp there at the end. The hook just popped out. I didn't break me off, nothing like that. Hook just came out, I was kind of bummed and I went home after that. So I didn't really make an outro, but if you guys like this style of video, make sure you leave a like or a comment. Let me know because this is something I'm not gonna do, be able to do every day, of course, but the days that I do stuff like that, I can definitely do it more than just like a normal fishing or hunting video where that's the main thing. This is a little bit different. I just kind of took you along with what I was doing today, getting feed, putting it out, checking game cameras, and then I had a little bit of time, so I went fishing. But yeah, if you guys like today's video, make sure to leave a like. Definitely gonna get back out after those grass carp in the coming week or so. And we're gonna go ahead and try and catch those grass carp for sure, at least one, and make just a specific video on them. But between grass carp fishing, and we're definitely gonna do some probably more trout and bass fishing in the next few days and weeks as well, so stay tuned for those videos. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss those videos. And thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.